Okay, so there you have it. Ludwig with the Lizardmen taking on Mr. Merlaki, Mr. Le Marquis with the Greenskins. So this is round one of their semi-final match. Players have loaded in, and starting with this Greenskin army, we've got Red Crested Skinks. One. All right, well, let's get this and help myself count. One, two, and three. I just don't know where the third one went. There it is. Three units of Red Crested Skinks. We've got Saurus Warriors with shields up front here. we got two Skink Cohort. And then it looks like we're going to have an abundance of Chameleon Skinks, so four of them to be precise. Now, for the heavy hitting Dino Power, we have a Dread Saurian over here on the right side of the formation. We've got Lord Mazamundi on his Ancient Stegodon Slock. Now, He's going to be bringing Banishment, Shield of the Old Ones, Arcanum Forging, Potheosis, Curse the Midnight Wind, got Greater Arcane Conduit, and Roiling Skies, just in case Azek is on the field, I would imagine. Now, for... Oh, update the factions, too. Lizard Men. Crap. And then Red Faction. Green Skins. Sorry. All right. Now we're back here. And for the Green Skins, we are going to have... A front line that consists of Orc Biggins. So one, two, three, four Orc Biggins. We then got some Night Goblins, two of them, the Warlords Boys and the Eight Peak Loonies. And then we are going to have what also appears to be two, three Nasty Skulkers, plenty of Archers in the form of Orc Air Boys and the Rusty Errors. Going to have some trolls here to add that mass to this army. And then, got Warzag the Great Green Prophet on foot, dancing away. Thank you so much for holding that second semifinal, um, Iron Thunder. So, Warzag here. Going to be bringing Brainburster, Fist of Gork, Wa, and Epigea to get. And then we have the front line, which is going to be those Forest Goblin Spider Riders, Mogrims, Mangy Marauders. And some Night Goblin Squig Hoppers who, during the Vanguard, had a fortuitous deployment. And look at the damage they are getting on top of these two Chameleon Skinks so early on. They, oh man, doing some nice, nice work. They're going to have to pull out of there, though. Um, stay net positive. Don't let these Squig Hoppers take a lot of damage. And look at them pulling out right now. And it looks like they're actually going to come over here to try to isolate these two Chameleon Skinks. And potentially kill off most of the Lizardmen Skirmishers in the first minute of this battle. Look at the damage going down on top of those two Chameleon Skinks who are both below, or one's below half health, the other one's just about half health. Over here, these Chameleon Skinks actually getting some good damage on top of the Night Goblins uh, Squig Hoppers. But uh, the Greenskins doing a wonderful job of isolating them. And now I think they'll have the units necessary to go chase them off. This unit of Squig Hoppers kind of peeling off this way. And uh, we'll see. It looks like they may be used to sandwich the remaining uh, Chameleon Skinks. And man, Chameleon Skinks not having a good day against this Greenskin army. And you can see the Greenskins kind of pivoting their formation, reforming their line. And, you know, I couldn't agree more. Keep pulling back, keep pulling back until you kill off all the Chameleon Skinks and then go from there. But look at this. A big effigy to get going down. Now all of the archers are in range for the Greenskins. They're going to start firing away. Biggins are going to be coming in, and the front lines are engaging people. Over here, it looks like Chameleon Skinks have been effectively dealt with by this single Forest Goblin Spider Rider. And then that other unit of Night Goblin Squig Hoppers has come over here, and now they're on top of Skink Cohort in the back lines. And so far, the Greenskins are playing this very, very, very well. Uh, we have the Trolls coming in to support the front line engagement. Um, Mazda Mundi coming in over here, and it looks like the Nasty Skulkers coming in for a potential smoke bomb. All right, and we're going to see that smoke bomb come down. Archers continuing to fire away, and look at this. The Feral Dread, I mean, sorry, the Dread Saurian is already routing. Greenskins are winning a lot of the frontline infantry engagements, and in the back lines, the Night Goblin Squig Hoppers are taking out a ton of of units and over here look at this Mazda Mundi now getting pinned in place with the trolls and that uh, the nasty skulkers the biggins and where's that smoke bomb 
need to see that smoke bomb. It may not matter too much in the end as army losses look like they're kicking in. And our green skin army going to defeat the lizard men in a quite a convincing fashion. That battle was less than three minutes long, guys. And for the Greenskins, that's no small feat, but that army was very well suited and just executed to near perfection by Mr. Le Marquis against Ludwig's Lizardmen. Yeah, that was just great play. Oh, man. Always happy to see the boys in green doing work against the Scaly Menace. Yeah, that's a tough matchup for them. And yeah, Lizards got pulled apart. Exactly, Iron Thunder doing Gork's work. Yeah, no, that was very quick, but the Night Goblins Quig Hoppers, that vanguard they had on top of the Chameleon Skinks, was key. I think that just completely threw the Lizardmen off balance. They were rushing a bit too much to close the gap, getting some combat, and um, as a result, they kind of walked into that the jaws of the trap. Four big ones are no joke. Big ones will do fine against all the infantry here. And not to mention you have an unbreakable unit and a unit that causes armies, armor sundering. So, you know, the Warlord's boys dive in, Rusty Air shoot in. That's minus 60 armor right there. And then you have Orc Air boys firing in too. It's just a lot of damage really quick. 